God bless you, global Christian friend. God bless the American government. God bless you, farmers, military scientists, pastors, saints, and churches around the globe. The Lord shall give him the throne of his father David. Notice that. Gabriel told Mary, the Lord shall give him. The angel told Mary, the Lord shall give him. The giving is from the Lord. The Lord shall give him. Why do a lot out there think because God gives, you just ask for all kinds of stuff? Give me a car. Give me a wife. Give me a pair of shoes. Give me a dress. Give me a husband. Give me a wife. You don't ask for everlasting life. <clears throat> so what are you doing? You are asking amiss. John 3, 16, what did he do? So loved the world that he gave. God is a giving God. Uh, and in 99% of the time, you don't have to ask him to give. He just gives without you having to ask him. What did Jesus say? Your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need before he asked him. He said, ask and it shall be given. Seek, he shall find. But what do you do? Ask for a thing that you would expend upon yourself that will cause you to be destroyed. Ask king amiss. <clears throat> the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father David. Now, that's found all over the scriptures. And you'll see that promise in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 12, 13, and 14. God speaking there. Read it for yourself. 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 12, 13, and 14. You can also find it in Daniel, but I'll just go there briefly. And... Uh, 2 Samuel chapter 7. I begin at verse 12. <clears throat> and when the days thy day be fulfilled, thou shalt fall asleep with thy fathers. I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. I don't need to go no further than that. All right? What God said I will do. One thing about God you find out. If he said it, put your seal of approval on it. Because he has already done his. God never say anything that he don't intend to do. Or improve upon. Or give an increase. This you need to know about the Lord. <clears throat> Verse 33. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end, like the world without end, like the power of an endless life, like the eternal spirit, all of these wonderful things without end. God gave you the spirit without end, no limitations on it. Hmm.
That shocked Mary. In verse 34, she sounded like Zacharias. How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? <clears throat> How can this be? I, I don't know a man. How can these things be that you're promising me that have no end and all of that? I have to have a man in order to be able to bring forth. Not in this case. It's not the conception of man, but the conception of the spirit and by the spirit. Different. Gabriel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost, everybody say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, Kodesh Ruach, shall come upon thee. And the power of the high, there's the power of the high, there's the prophet of the high, we got that number, the son of the high, now we got the power of the highs. Three of the highest things in operation here. Think about that. Prophet of the highest, son of the highest, power of the highest. My God, what, what more do you need? Why stay low with so much overhead? The Holy Ghost, number one, and, or plus, the power of the high shall overshadow thee. Therefore, that holy thing, you know what you call him? A holy, T-H-I-N-G, Gabriel. There's a reason Gabriel called Jesus before he was conceived the holy thing. Some of you are familiar with that. If you read what those angels who were near God said about that conception or that element by which men are conceived, what they called it. I won't go into it, but those of you who have read it can understand why Gabriel called it that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called uh, the Son of God. I forget what Romans 8 and 14 says. They that are led of the Spirit are also called the sons of God. Y'all hear that? John 3 and 8, put that there. Put that by there, John 3 and 8. And let the Lord work with you. That's why I give you these scriptures so God can work with your mind. Work with your spirit. Work with your heart. Work with your soul. Privately. By yourself. When you're home. With the TV turned off. Lights blaring. You got the King James Bible. You got the two scriptures. Now let the Lord work with you in your own home there in America and around the world or out in the field, wherever you are. God said, do not I feel heaven and earth? He's everywhere. All the time. But I don't see him. No, you don't. But you better thank God that you hear him and you understand him. They that are of God, what? Heareth God's word. That holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called uh, the Son of God. Uh, God bless you, global Christian friends, bless the American government.